Flames erupted quickly in these Golden Valley townhomes. Neighbors felt powerless. If they couldn't stop it in the second unit, it would come to us. It was just devouring in seconds. Gabrielle Gerbeau lives a few doors down. For a few seconds, it was in our minds that maybe it would be next. Smoke towered over the trees, visible from Highway 55. The smoke was dark, it was billowing, it was black. It's like, this is not normal. Jack Graven spotted the fire while driving to get coffee. You don't know how you're gonna act until you're in that situation. And I just immediately was like, okay, some, call 911, there's people in the house, get out, see if they need help. And I just ran up shouting like anyone in the house, anyone in the house. Jack and two Golden Valley Parks employees who were working nearby found an older man struggling to escape. They had his shoulders and I ran up and grabbed his lower half. We went around here and then carried him across the street to make sure that he was out of the, the danger zone. First responders arrived in huge numbers, taking three people to the hospital. The Golden Valley Fire Chief credits Jack Raven and the park's employees for saving lives. I'm glad I was there. I would hope that um, if I was in that same situation, someone would be there for me. Thank you so much for random people just seeing flames and stopping and just, you know, trying, being heroes, and that's a real hero. By the time firefighters cleared the scene, the flames had tarnished lifelong memories. It makes you reassess a little bit. But hey, everybody's healthy. That's the important thing.